what is gone first and welcome back to the journeyman with me foggy plays on fm 22 today we are going to be playing just one game playing against oda as new club bfc dog pills dog pills in the latvian top division we have secured survival so that's fantastic so i didn't want to come back for the game before this because there wasn't much point to it we're gonna look at what we need to well if i was doing transfers who i would be replacing and what positions i think we need players in because we don't have a very big squad so if you do want to enjoy this episode do make sure to leave a like comment subscribe now let's get into the video So as I said, fellas, we are only playing the one game today because there isn't any point in really enjoying your two games because I feel like a lot of these players won't be here next season. Um, but we have guaranteed safety, thankfully. Um, and interestingly, Meta played yesterday. We're playing today and then everyone else plays the day after, I think. No, okay, so final game of the season just is played over multiple days for some reason uh but we we survived uh we could have finished as high as six but unfortunately we drew with takums and we could with a one nil win jump over meta i think i think we can do that um i think that's the way it is but as i said we've played two games since we were here last uh we beat rfs in our first game which was a wild encounter to be fair uh did not think we were going to do that well and we actually did quite well i did have a friendly in between just because there was 13 days between the games um there was like an international break and we don't have any internationals because it's we're like a bottom half team in latvia uh but then we drew with takums after taking the lead we were two up and then we just couldn't defend we just weren't very good at defending that's one thing we're definitely lacking is uh defense and in the not too distant future we're gonna have no good goalkeeper either so mm. but we're taking on Auda, who are bottom of the league and this would be the one that would guarantee their relegation um so yeah fair enough hopefully we're capable of doing that um yeah interesting for all oh, the team in fourth place could potentially not get a european spot which is like what's guaranteed for them because i think meta are playing in the latvian cup final and the winner of that gets the fourth or gets the final spot in europe but if they lose it then the top four get it regardless it's, it's we don't care it's got nothing to do with us as you can see our last five matches our team is per playing terribly dimachenko playing a 6.58 zernis is playing a 6.48 um so not ideal um illens playing a 6.6 .6. it's, oh, it's not great um our best right back is playing a 6.6 .6, but he's just back from injury we haven't played him yet i don't actually know if he's that good uh mattis milkinson mckelsons is uh playing a 6.54 played in the last game it's not very good um but yeah we have two suspensions or two injuries or two players missing one true suspension one true injury um our backup central midfielder is injured and our best center back has a suspension which is fine um i should probably go through the team we are starting with yorosov in goal kukarish osoy desernus and illness as our back four kovalos our captain demichenko atisu and regza who in that friendly we played scored quite a number of goals um ona and adola start up front uh because nordine still not fully fit can only play 45 minutes i think around around the last game um for like 10 15 minutes just to give him a little bit of a run around see who we got on um and it was fine we're not gonna bother doing the end of season review because we've been here for three games it's a pointless exercise because we look we, have, we don't know any of the players um and as i said a lot of these players probably won't be here next year um pump fists they're 10th in the league table or in the form table we are sixth make it count um i do quite like the false nine he's been running around an awful lot doing an awful lot of build-up play i'm not sure having a playmaker in the team 
and the false nine is like the best idea. We're going to continue playing cautious because kind of, kind of works. Sort of. E, I guess it's probably the best way of describing it. Uh, not enough of that happening. So we're just going to go positive. 20 minutes and nothing's happened. Um, we do need to win the win in this game for us to get our uh, position. And Atisu was, was onside. Okay. I The way everyone was reacting, I was like, this, this kind of looks like an offside goal. But it isn't. Um, I have a, a different tactic. Oh, okay. So it was actually quite close. Oh, he is miles on. I didn't see these two fighting over here. Um, who is that? I couldn't see the name of the person. Might get to see it in a second. Uh, we would move up to seventh. There, I don't think there's, there's no prize money in this league. Uh, from what I can see in the rules, anyway, which is you know definitely going to help with the fact we're you know like a hundred and something thousand in debt. Oh, nah. get in. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I think for the final. 10 minutes if we're comfortably ahead we might chuck our very attacking tactic out there and see what it looks like because i'm gonna be honest i've been looking at some of the broken things in fm this year and one of them is your goalkeeper scoring lots of goals i kind of want to see what happens so i've set up a, a very which is a very attacking tactic um which in FM21 I used when I needed to win a game. Just had a very attacking three striker formation. Uh, that did quite well for us. Um, our goalkeepers never scored from it. We conceded a number of goals from it. But I want to see what happens with this broken match engine for our goalkeepers. Just to see if we can get, you know, a cheeky goal or two. Because I've seen in... Oh, oh no, oh no, is true. And keeper makes a save. Um, I've seen that... Uh, work the space and was it Dr. Benji using it in their network save with uh, Lelujo and Zealand so it'd be interesting to see if I've built one that because I haven't looked at any of the like pre-made you know corner routines where your goalkeeper will score all the goals so I'd be kind of curious to see but Adebola is that his name no Adiola. We've hit the post twice now. No, we've only hit it once. That looked like it hit the post. Was the other one not a post? Was it saved by the keeper? I guess we'll never know. Um, yeah, I was going to say I'm happy so far. Uh, we do have five substitutes we can make. I'm not going to do them just yet. Um, I just want to go a little, little more attacking. Just a smidge. Just the just the touch of more. Slightly more attacking. Um, so the tactic we have built is a 343 um not been using it because we haven't really needed to then again this is just our third game in charge so obviously we've not had a huge amount of things to worry about um and we we've had 19 shots all right we're gonna swap to it all right nope 343 three. i'm gonna leave you as a false nine because that's kind of working i guess is it is it working? He's playing a seven. That that's not, not terrible. Um I'm gonna bring on a centre back in Bahunivis. You don't wanna be a libero. You don't wanna be a libero. You don't you're not the worst libero in the world. You're also probably our best wing back. And I'm well aware we're only two up. So this is Definitely not the best thing to be doing right now, but I'm going to do it. Nordine, you actually, you can be a pressing forward. You can. You want to be a potter. Um, and we are going to play for set pieces. So we've made two substitutions. Confirm sub. Let's go. All right, so we're very attacking. I just want to, I just want to get a corner. Um, How many corners we have? We've had five. So the chance of... Demichenko's picked a booking. I, while I want to see this tactic in full flow, as in goalkeeper getting up for corners, don't really want to lose the game. So, 
if it needs to be, we can change away from it. Atsu is beautifully true. Nordin hits double figures for the season. Our top goal scorer is our actual player. He belongs to us. He is our player. Which is fantastic. We are just shooting non-stop. At six-ish minutes, five minutes left to go. Probably could do it, make some changes. We're going to take off Demichenko and bring on Hershainen, who is a defensive midfielder who can play at centre-back. And we're going to ask him to play as a Mozilla. Because, why not? Um, I'm going to bring on... I don't really have anyone that wants to play it right back. I'm going to bring on Jetty. Yeah, yeah, just, just play just play midfield. Probably, yeah. Um, so that is... Should we make one more change? Our defense is just like, what are you making us do? <laughs> We've never seen tactics like this before. Regza. Oh, no. Our goalkeeper was up for... I didn't change the free kick routine. But the goalkeeper is up for free kick. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we're up for corner. Keeper standing in front of the defenders. Or in front of the goalkeeper. The keepers just on top of each other. Um, it does help that Yurasov is six foot three. How tall is six foot two? I'm going to give you an opportunity, my friend. Because why not? Make me proud. If you're uninterested, I think he's played three games this year already. So I did look as well. That guy who's 40 actually had played this season. Oh, Ona with another goal. Again, another one of our players. He has been. Quite good since he came in. Um since we gave him the opportunity. This was a terrible bit of diff that goalkeeper just side foots it so casually, no wonder you're getting relegated. We're still gonna make that change. The goalkeeper's coming off. We're making goalkeeping substitutions, my friends, because there's five subs in this game. Um and we have now guaranteed ourselves seventh in the league. Well done, lads. Good win for us. You are a sub. You you done me proud. You actually managed to uh, get in the box, which <laughs> I was not expecting. <laughs> I thought I even had it set for corners. Clearly, I was wrong. And he was there for free kicks as well, which is just... Because mm, I have fiddled with the corner routine, not the free kick routine. Um. So, yeah. Mm. What do we need for next season? If I was the man in charge... If I was the one that made the, the signings. We definitely need a goalkeeper. Definitely need. Left backs. Um, Could definitely do it with centre backs. We're a bit light in midfield. I think we have. Three good centre midfielders. Four good centre midfielders. Um, severely lacking on the wings. I think we have two strikers. Three strikers. If you include. Uh, Cockins, but we do have a lot of players in the B team in the under 19s or under 18s or whatever it is, our youth squad, who actually could be pretty decent. Like the 15 year old goalkeeper, I actually wouldn't mind giving him opportunities next year. I think he could be quite the player because he is the hot prospect. But we do have a actually, we have a decent winger in the under 18s. We have a couple of good midfielders. Actually, hmm, I haven't really looked at the B team and the under the underage teams yet youth teams i haven't like properly done like a deep dive to see what we have um but if you don't know we don't transfer this players unless the meeting thing comes up and says transfer this players are not getting enough forcing football or their wages are too high or whatever do you know we need we need someone to say to us this has to be done same with the director of football has to make the signings we can't be like hey i really want this guy add him to a transfer add him as a transfer target that is not something we do because that would be illegitimate. Like, if you're doing it, if you're following along doing a director of football save, you're not going to be like signing your own players because it's not how a director of football save works. In my eyes, to me. I know some people would be like, oh, I get my director of football to do everything else, but I want to be the one that does X, Y, and Z. You, you do you, my friend. You do you. But for me, director of football does everything. I don't make any signings. I don't do any of that. That is 
none of my business. Like, we still don't have a head of youth development because my director of football hasn't signed one. To be fair, we are quite a bit in debt. So, you know, we're not really in a position to be offering huge money to anybody. But I wouldn't mind hanging around in Latvia for a little while. Um, the only reason I wanted to leave Curzon Ashton in the first place was because I felt like we were at our peak, potentially. Uh, like, we weren't going to get much better than we were, um, to be fair. We did get rid of pretty much everyone on our team at the end of the first season. And we had, like, nine players. So, first game of the season, if you go back to yesterday's episode, or the last episode. Was it the last episode? Whenever it was. Maybe it was the episode before. I don't know. But we played, like, five 16-year-olds on the opening day of the season against Hereford. Like, that's not ideal. Anyway, this is taking an absolute year and a half. So, we are going to be back in the next episode for the transfer roundup and whatever the first game of the season will be because this runs on a slightly different time frame to everyone else like our season has now finished in October so I'm guessing we start back up in January question mark and then we play all our games and we find out how, uh, how we get on so if you have enjoyed this episode do make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share with all your friends and we'll see you in the next one